Hey, uh, this is Dead Son of the Game. We are just going to do a real quick uh, talk about Gen Con. We've been on the Gen Con this year, and we have an a unboxing video for Flick 'em Up and uh, Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born. So, um, this is Luke's first Gen Con. Why don't you go ahead and just tell us a little bit about Gen Con? Um, first of all, we went there really early in the morning, and they sort of had a crowd that built up, but the crowd started to die down, and I, um, Really kind of enjoyed it. Like, they had some really cool booths there. So you didn't necessarily like the first part of the day, but then... No, it got better, though. Okay. And uh, so, like, this is just us in our pajamas kind of talking about what happened at Gen Con, I guess. And um, at any rate, uh, some cool stuff that we saw there. Code names. I could have got a copy of Code Names. I went back later in the day, and it was gone. Um, Ashes, they had a ton of copy of Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Born, uh, when we were there at least. They had just a ton. And uh, they were selling them real quickly though. So uh, I would not be surprised if they sold out of that by the time it was all said and done. Um, and then uh, I haven't had a chance to really look at like the news about the con yet. So they may have sold out by now already. Um, and then... What else? Um, you tried to get Mysterium, but that yeah. was like... Okay, we got there before they even released us into the convention hall. My dad got there pretty quickly, and they were already out of Mysterium. Right. So. I went straight to the Asthma Day booth, and it was great. I think, I, if I had to guess, I would say they probably sold out uh, with, the, with the VIGs and early access people even the first day. Um, it's definitely, it was, it was the hottest one that sold out just fast. Um, but it looks, I mean, like, I get a chance to look at the American Edition and Display Case, um, it looks awesome, like the little player shield type things where you put the cards in. Looks very, very cool. Um, got to got to go see the Dice Tower guys. They're always real friendly. Um, and Chris Handy, uh, talked to Chris Handy for a little bit. He's one of my favorite designers. Uh, he is the guy who's doing Perplexed right now games, which those are the little they look like a pack of gum. We did a review of those. Uh, he had a bunch of those there, and he says he's working on some um, some new stuff. He didn't really have any details for me, but he's working on a big box again, so that'll, that'll be good. I like his. I just really like his games. So. Um, one thing that I also found really cool was the little Mario like throwing a fireball, painting. It was actually a balloon. Oh. So that was actually really sharp. Yeah, and then they had a big balloon sculpture next to it. I'm not sure what the balloon sculpture was, but it they had one. It wasn't done. It's just like come and see me work. It's oh. gonna be a surprise. Okay, so Luke and I just went to Gen Con. And because of how the school year's fallen this year and a number of things, we were only able to do uh, only able to do Two Thursday days. this year. So uh, this is one of my like auction buys. I've wanted a Game Masters series, Axis and Allies for a while. But anyway, that's not what I really want to show you. I want to show you our two kind of cool buys here. So this is Flick 'em Up, and I'm sorry this is so shaky. But look, go ahead and tear that open. I'm gonna go get some scissors really quick. Oh, Luke. Okay, the other one too is Ashes, uh, Rise of the Phoenix, Born. Um, so be careful, man. That's a cool box. So this box is awesome. Like the art on it's really amazing, obviously. Um, and it's a very cool wooden box. So I, I think all the copies of this game are going to be wooden. I mean, maybe they will come out with a cheaper version of it someday or There's something. There's a little but cardboard out. So here's here's uh here's the wooden box. Okay, so uh, there's a yeah there's like a cardboard shell that like kind of protects it. So I think I got to flip this off. And they had this huge giant set of it over at um, Gen Con. And it was like a, like four times the size. So here's here's our just looking at the, this is just a wooden. Like, oh, it smells like pine wood or something. Okay, so here's what you get inside the box. Oh, man, this is really cool. So these are all the... Little towns? Yeah, the little, little buildings. buildings. And here's the rule book. And I think this rule book, uh, there's a rule book and then there's a scenario book. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you guys can see. Me too. Um, so, yeah, and there's a lot more wood pieces in here than I thought there would be. So... Your little cowboys are wooden, and your cacti are wooden, and the hats that go on them, and then you have your little 
your little bullets over here and barrels. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so here's the rule book, which is pretty cool. And here's the scenario book where you set everything up a certain way. So uh, the people were describing it as croconol on steroids. Um, oh, yeah, there's a guy named Luke, I think. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. There's, There's some Luke. nasty glare. But so anyway, some, these are the pieces you get in the box. And we will get a review of this one out very soon. Because man, I'm looking forward to playing that one. It looks really good. And this is like, this is the cool thing about this is like, good job Zman slash Pretzel Games. Because I'd rather pay 10 bucks more, get this nice wooden box. Because this is, this is an heirloom. I mean, this is something that, I'm gonna play with my grandkids, or Luke's gonna play with his, you know, with his grandkids even maybe. So, good job on that. On the, well, and the art on it is pretty awesome. Like at least the cover. And the Pretzel Games logo here, you know, Z-Man Pretzel. Um, that's really classy the way how they did that. I think so. Anyway, now here's Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Born. Now here's here's something too. One of the reasons why Luke and I have been doing less reviews. In addition to being busy, is we got more into magic over the last few months. So Luke really loves magic. I really like magic. This is, I'm hoping, like maybe not quite a, a replacement for magic, but it's a, uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. So this looks like this is a little bonus here. And, huh. So anyway, this has got all kinds of cards in it. And this is one of those weird things where I know it's just theme, but like right off the bat, there's a demon. So, like, but I could do without like demons and devils and games, but that's just my own personal preference. And I know it's just cardboard and it's not a big deal, but whatever. So there's all these cards. And then like the one thing I was really impressed with is the quality of these cards. These cards are like really high quality. Um, I played with these a little bit at the con. And the die are really nice quality too. So... This game, just right out of the box, is really nice. And you get three copies of every card. It looks like you get more than three most. So you get a bunch of copies four, of every it looks copy. Like, like in Magic, well, you I'm like, four of each. This one you got five of. Oh, wow. So, I mean, like, some cards are more than others, it seems. But this like... is, I'm going to say this. Okay. <laughs> I. I, uh, I'm so happy with Flat Hat Games. They make some of the awesomest games, and we own a lot of Flat Hat Games. I think we own everything that they put out, except for maybe some of the worst. <clears throat> um, but here's, here's, uh, this, this box is what not to do with an insert. I mean, like, it's just, like, not very good. And I guess they're probably thinking there's going to be a lot of cards that come out. This is what you should do with an insert in a box. So, anyway. Um, and, and, you know, with this, um, Ashes... What they could have easily done is made one of those little card boxes that come in like some of the like fat packs of magic cards. Yeah, some deck boxes. And like that come even along with it. save some money making maybe not maybe it's higher quality uh, product they make it out of. But so who, whoever's them. watching this video, I'm really excited about both these games. They couldn't be two more opposite games really. Um, but I will say this, I think there's a there's a, some low hanging fruit for tote box or tuck boxes if someone wants to put a file out for that. So, and this is crazy too. Like I'm gonna sound like a pack rat, but this is like a little cardboard shell. It's actually nice enough that I might keep this game in it. Keep the wooden box nicer. And like the cardboard shell is really nice. Well, and that's I feel like would help it not get any shelf wear. Yep. On it too. So anyway, uh, yep. That's we'll probably have a few more thoughts about Gen Con for you now reason Luke and I lost some of our video. But anyway, I'm just going to wrap this up by saying Gen Con's a really fun experience. You should check it out. It's not the end all be all of conferences probably, but or, or uh, conventions, but it's really fun. Uh, the buzz that I experienced there is definitely different than what other people experience. It's a personal thing. But for me, uh, the Heroes Wanted stuff, I didn't really see. And the Ninja Camp, I didn't really see, which was number one on the buzz the first day. So, um, I don't know what's going on with that. I really like the designer of Heroes Wanted. As a person, he's a really nice guy. He works at a board game shop in Indy still. Um, just a cool guy. Uh, so I hope his, his project's doing that well. But I didn't see it. And um, 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Really, uh, really fun. And I'm gonna subscribe, subscribe to this video. And if you have any questions about like what we saw or what we experienced at Gen Con, uh, just leave a comment in the in the in the in the comment section here, and I'll I'll answer your question if you have something there that you you leave. So that's all. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.